Hello, and welcome to this Space Claim video tutorial on blending. In this section, we'll blend between points, curves, surfaces, and faces. Let's go ahead and open up the blend.sc doc file found with the video downloaded. And you'll notice in this model a number of types of different geometry. We have a set of points we want to create a curve through, a set of curves that we want to create a surface through, and a set of surfaces and solids that we want to create a solid between. We'll explore how to use the blend tool found in the edit group to create new geometry using the existing geometry. Think of blending as adding geometry through a set of points, curves, or surfaces. First, click the blend tool, and the first tool guide and status message instructs you to select faces, curves, edges, or points to blend between. It's important to pick them in order. First, we'll create a curve through a set of points. And you'll notice that after clicking the first curve point, holding control and selecting the next, you'll see a preview of what the curve is going to look like through the selected points. It is important to select the points in order. To complete this blend, click the check mark on the left. Next, we might want to blend through a set of curves. Select the curves in order, holding control, and we'll see the surface being previewed that will be blended from one curve to the other. Now, we may want to guide the way the blend is created using this curve down here, referred to as a guide curve. And one way to do this is by clicking on the Select Guides tool guide and then selecting this guide curve. Notice its color is blue instead of highlighting of the actual color of the curve. And now notice that the blend is being guided from the first curve to the second using this third guide curve. And we could either click the check mark or you could even click Enter on your keyboard. Now we may want to use multiple guide curves and you may also want to use a keyboard shortcut. So if I want to blend between these two splines, one thing that's important is that I don't click on the knot defining the spline, but the actual spline itself, holding control to click the other curve. And now I may want to guide it. So the keyboard shortcut is to hold down the Alt key, which you'll notice toggles on the uh, guide curves tool guide and then I can go ahead and click on this guide curve. Now I may only want to use one guide curve but I may want it to only be applied locally. So you'll notice in the blend options panel on the left there is a local guides option and now instead of applying that guide globally it's only applying it locally and it's still, still giving a straight connection on the left and this guided connection on the right. Turning that option back off, we'll apply that guide curve globally. But we may want to use a second guide curve. Now, if I use the uh, keyboard method of holding down the Alt key or click on this tool guide and I just click on the second guide curve, the first one becomes deselected. In order to select multiple ones while holding Alt or with this tool guide on, you also need to hold down the Control key. And then you can select multiple guide curves. And again, we can click the check mark or press enter to complete that blend. Now we can also create solids between surfaces and this can be done by selecting the surfaces in order, holding down the control key. And you'll notice with multiple surfaces to blend between, multiple cross sections, we default to this tangency guide between each of the cross sections but you may want a straight connection between each of these profiles or cross sections. So there is an option in the blend options for ruled segments. And instead of following tangency between them, you can go ahead and have straight ruled segments between them. We can click the check mark to see what that looks like, or we could always undo, turn that back off, and use the default tangency blend. A couple other options provided with the blend functionality. Here we have a set of curves going around and we may want to do a complete periodic blend. Again, it's important to select them in order and notice that 
if you select them in such an order where the blend will cross over itself, the preview will disappear, and that means it will no longer get created. Now, you could start over again by clicking in white space, or you could simply deselect the last one and then select other guide curves. If I want to restart this process because I chose too many of the wrong ones, I can just click in white space and now select these guide curves or select these curves in order. Now, if I can always click the check mark to complete that, but I probably want to connect up the end here. So I'm going to undo. And a great thing about undoing is it brings you right into the last step of the tool. And if I try to select the first one as the last one, it just becomes deselected. It does not complete the blend. But it's very easy to do. You just click on the periodic blend option on the left, and that will connect the first and the last uh, curve or points or even surfaces or faces, depending on what you're using to create the blend. It's also possible to work with existing solids and surfaces. The process is pretty much the same, selecting each one in order. Now, right now, because our existing solids are not in components, if I complete this blend, it will create one single solid, which may be the goal that I have. But I'm going to undo because perhaps we want this to be a new solid and not be merged into the original two. So I could go ahead and click on the no merge option. And now it'll create a brand new solid between the other two. And here I could change the color just to prove that we have different solids. One thing we see frequently being done is using points to create a spline and using that spline to create cabling or tubing. And the way to do this is you select that spline after it's created, go to the Insert tab, and turn on the Cylinder tool found in the Shapes group. This will snap a cylinder to that curve, and I could always go ahead and type in a value of, say, 1 to specify the radius. Now we've added the cable or wire or tubing along that spline. The last thing we might want to do is create a blend between different shapes. If I go ahead and turn on the blend tool and select these faces that are different shapes, Space Claim will add these points on the profile that has a different number of nodes. And you can go ahead and drag these around to adjust how the blend will be created between these different shapes. If you have any further questions on blending, please contact support at spaceclaim.com. Thank you.